Welcome back to ALM in a minute. In this video, we're gonna be going to see an overview of Scrum, its roles, artifacts, and events. Scrum was introduced in the early 90s and was conceived by Jeff Sutherland and Ken Schwaber. It was called the Scrum Software Development Process and it derived from the sport of rugby. Scrum consists of teamwork with small clear objectives for each iteration. The fundamentals of Scrum focus on transparency, constant inspection, regularity in tasks and events, and adaptation to the methodology. Ideally, you should have short cycles that are called sprints. After each cycle, the whole process is assessed and evaluated, issues are corrected, and impediments are resolved. This focuses on improving and increasing the team's performance. Basically, individuals and iterations are more important than processes and tools. Next is a breakdown of the Scrum roles. The Scrum Master ensures that the team follows the Scrum Guide. The Scrum Master is also part of the team and there is no hierarchy or commanding role. The Product Owner is responsible for the product and represents the parties interested in the success of the project. He also manages the product backlog, which we'll see in a few moments. The product owner also manages releases and works very close to the development team. The Scrum team is cross-functional with no specific roles, but with a common goal of delivering the best product. Everyone follows the same rules and everyone respects each other. And now a quick breakdown of the artifacts. The product backlog contains a list of all the features the final product should have, and it's ordered by priority and value. This priority is determined by the product owner. The backlog is considered a life artifact and keeps changing as the project progresses. User stories are simple ways of creating requirements based on an actor, a need, and an action. The sprint backlog is a list of all the features that will be delivered in that sprint, taken from the product backlog and picked by the development team. There is a lot to be said about time estimates, as it deserves a video of its own. For now, let's just make it clear that estimation efforts are determined by complexity and not by hours of work. The burndown graph shows the completion of tasks over time the rate of task completion, and the team velocity, which is how many tasks per sprint the team can complete. And this is a very important one. The consensus of what is considered a completed task is a definition of done. Now a breakdown of the Scrum events. Sprints are periods of time between two to four weeks that contains all the following events. The sprint planning meeting is when the team decides what will be completed in that sprint, the goal, and the capacity of the team. The daily sprint is a short 15-minute meeting when the team discusses what was done in the previous day, what will be done today, and whether there are any impediments that need resolution. And the whole team participates in this meeting. The sprint review occurs after the sprint is over and the final product for that sprint is presented to the product owner. This is normally a four hour meeting when sprints are four weeks long. The sprint retrospective is a three hour meeting when sprints are four weeks long and inspects what has worked, what hasn't worked, and what needs to be changed. It is a critical meeting to ensure continuous improvement. You can download the Scrum Guide from scrum.org. Thank you for watching this ALM in a minute session. If you enjoyed it, click on like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your IT friends. Till next one.